Okay, we'll start the thread up towards the front of the hook here. We're going to tie in our tail, which will be about seven or eight pieces of crystal flash. This is a pearl color. We'll start again towards the front of the hook. Wrap back down along the crystal flash. Just about to the barb. Come in here. I'm gonna these will probably be about half the hook length chain here, so I'll cut those off. You can always go back and trim them later. I'm gonna grab a little piece of some hairs ice dub here. And we will build a little segment dubbing in the back. And I will dub up to about the hook point here. I've got a piece of foam here that I've pre-cut. You see there's a taper, taper to the back, small taper at the front. Um, you can always just tie in a piece of foam here and go back and cut it later. So we're going to set that on the front. I'll show you from the bottom angle. When I lay this on, I want it centered on the hook. So just eyeball that. I'm going to begin wrapping with thread over the top of it. The trick to putting foam on the hook with th heavy thread is don't crank down too fast at the beginning of tying it on. You want to gradually tighten up the tension. If you do it too fast at first, a lot of times you'll cut the, th the foam. So you can get a lot of wraps on there. What I do from there is build a small base to set some legs in. So I will wrap, you can wrap forward, you can wrap back, just build a small thread base here. I will put in a set of legs on the side away from me. And I will put in a set of legs towards me. So you will have an X-like pattern with the legs. Grab some more dubbing here. This time we're going to use a fair amount more. And get this on there. I'm going to take a couple wraps in between the legs just to kind of cover up some of that thread space. And then I will just dub an underbody up just a little bit behind the eye here. I'm going to leave a little space. Again, another tight end point here. So don't crank down too hard. Gradually tighten the thread. Again, build up tie in spot again. Um, this time we're going to put in a synthetic wing here, Widow's Web, we're using this poly bear. A lot of the commercial patterns you'll see will have a second wing in the back here. Um, adds a little flotation, but this thing, will, your bug's going to float pretty well with just one big wing here. Plus it eliminates step when you're tying these production-wise. So I've got a clump of this, um, pretty good sized clump. You can eyeball it. Um, go ahead and put that on top of the hook here and you want to just apply some pressure on that make sure it locks down sitting on top of the foam we'll come back and trim this here in a sec put in our last set of legs here again one side towards me one side away from me And make sure you have enough wraps and thread there. And I might come in here and trim the butt ends of that wing down a bit. Okay, I'll throw on just a little bit more dubbing here to cover up those thread wraps. Maybe a wrap or 
it to in front. A few whip finishes. Okay. I'll trim this wing. I like to lay it back. I want it about even the length of the foam body here, so I'll go ahead and clip that. <coughs> Legs, you can make them as long as you want. Make sure they're all even though. And just eyeball them to what you like there. There's the underside of the bug.